Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey. Um. <laughs> okay, I really need to lay off the coffee. Seriously. Okay. Anyways, if you guys are new here, my name is Nisi. Welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave. I would greatly appreciate it. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this eye look here. It is a super pink and cute halo eye. Valentine's Day is right around the corner, so this is a great look for that. I love doing more like extra looks, especially on holidays because I can get away with it a little bit more. So if you're interested and you're into it, just go ahead and keep on watching. Hey guys, so to start off, I'm taking Makeup Revolutions Concealer in the shade C6 and applying this to my eyelids to act as a primer. Then I'm going to blend this out to ensure that we have a nice and even base before we go in with any eyeshadows. Now I'm just going to apply some tape to act as a guideline and to keep our eyeshadows nice and neat. Starting off with the Tartlet and Bloom palette, I'm going to go in with the shade Smarty Pants. Now since our base is still sticky, I'm packing the shade onto the outer V in the crease before I start to actually blend it in. I went ahead and zoomed in so you all could see the look better, but here I'm taking the shade Jet Setter and repeating those same steps. I'm packing the shade onto the outer V and crease and then blending it in. These two shades are going to act as our transition shade so that everything blends well together. Now going in with BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette, I'm going to go in with this pink shade. The shades don't have any names, but I'll have a picture on the screen for you all so you know exactly what shade it is. But I'm going to go in with this shade in the outer V, crease, and in the inner V, and I'm going to be careful not to blend it too far up. I'm basically going to keep repeating this and building this shade up until I get the desired intensity that I would like. As I'm building this color up, I'm also going to take a brush with no additional product on it and blend out the edges so it doesn't look harsh. The more I was building this shade up, the more I was realizing that I wasn't going to get the vibrant color I was looking for without a little help. So I went in with that same Makeup Revolution concealer and pretty much cut my crease. At first I left the middle of my lid blank since I'm doing a halo look, but then I decided to just do the whole lid so that all the colors that I'd be using on my lid would be more vibrant. Now going in with this more darker pink shade, I carefully packed this shade in the outer and inner V of my eye where I placed the concealer. For the middle of my lid, I'm going to go in with this lighter pale pink shade. You can totally stop here if you'd like, but I'm extra and need a little bit more umph. Before I get into the fun part, I did go back into that darker pink shade just to intensify that color more. Now for the fun part. This is where Stila's liquid eyeshadow in the shade Tulip Twinkle comes into play. These liquid eyeshadows are bomb and if you haven't tried them, you're totally missing out. Now you can totally go straight in with this with the Dofa applicator that it comes with, which you'll see me do in a second, but to get more precise, I also used a small flat detailed brush. Here I'm just going back in with that same darker pink shade again to intensify the color and to make sure that everything is blended out nicely. Now because I'm extra, I went in with Stila's liquid eyeshadow in the shade Kitten Karma right in the center of my lid just to give it more of that pop. Okay, now for a brow bone highlight, I'm just going to go in with the first pink shade that I used from the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I'm not really trying to like highlight, highlight my brow bone just because I do have the glitter that's already in the middle of my lid. I just want to add a color here to add more of like an ombre effect to my eyelid. And then I'm just going to quickly take the first brush that I was using and just run against these edges. I will definitely say if you guys are using this palette, as you guys can see, I got quite a bit of fallout. So I would recommend doing your eyeshadow first. I'm going to go ahead and add some false lashes on. I might do eyeliner, but I'm going to quickly do this off camera and then I'm going to come right back. So I went ahead and popped on some false eyelashes and I also added some winged eyeliner. My winged liner ended up turning out a little bit thicker than I originally planned on, but you know, it was just one of those days where 
you know, you, you mess up a little bit, then you make it thicker, then you gotta do the other side, etc, etc. Now, since this, whoa, okay, I have glitter on my face, I need to... Anyways, since this video is mainly focused on the eyes, I am just going to quickly do my face makeup, foundation, bronzer, blush, highlight, all that jazz, and then I'll come right back so we can finish off the eyes. And if you guys are wanting to know what products I will be using on my face, be sure to check the description box down below. I always, always, always put all the products that I'm using in my makeup tutorials down below in that description box. So if you guys are ever wondering, always check down there. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in just one second. So this is the finished look. Let me just move my mirror and stuff out the way. Give you guys a little bit of a cleaner shot. So there is my eyes. So that completes this look. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you guys are going to be doing for Valentine's Day. Are you going to be like going on a date with your boo? Are you just going to be hanging out with your girlfriends? Are you going to be working? Do you not really care about Valentine's Day? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's chat. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.